click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends and today we are going to study a numerical based on roc in z transform and problem number 3 basically in last two videos what you have seen the roc is available over the entire region of z plane where in one case it is exceptional case is z equals to 0 and in another numerical z equals to infinity now we will study a next third numerical let's see where the roc will lie now the problem number 3 determine the z transform and their roc of given signal you can say the sequence also as well as function also or you can say a signal so x of n is given 1 2 3 4 5 He, these are the amplitudes now in discrete sample sequence or a discrete signal always the amplitude values are given and how to identify location this arrow will gives us an idea about the location of that amplitudes basically this arrow indicates the origin value which means at origin we have amplitude 3 on right hand side we have positive instance whereas on left hand side we have negative instance now we will move on to solution now look at here the origin is placed perfectly at the center which means this is the place of origin that's why i have written 0 now on the right hand side we have a positive instance which means this is the place of positive instant 1 and having amplitude 4 next place is for positive instance 2 and having amplitude 5 but on left hand side what we have a negative instance so at minus 1 the amplitude is 2 at minus 2 our amplitude is 1 which means here our n value varies from minus 2 to plus 2 and now we'll up, we'll find out first of all the z transform and then we'll move on to roc so according to definition of z transform z transform of x of n is represented by z of x of n uh, and you can represent it by x of z and the formula is x of n z to the power minus n now basically our function is limited or you can say it is available from minus 2 to plus 2 so the summation value also changes from minus 2 to plus 2 now we will break this summation value so after breaking this n value will substitute it from minus 2 to 2 in this equation or formula here order is already in negative z to the power we have minus n so for negative samples the order will be positive and for positive samples the order is negative now we will substitute the values of all the samples in this calculation so x of minus 2 at x of minus 2 we have amplitude 1 x of minus 1 we have amplitude 2 at origin we have sample value 3 at 1 we have 4 and at instant 2 we have amplitude 5 so i'll substitute all the values in this formula and this is nothing but the z transform given x of n now we will move on to roc so this was our equation or you can say the z transform given sequence now we have to find out the roc now as i told you in previous video we will calculate roc only at two instant at z equals to 0 and another at z equals to infinity just substitute or you can say replace all the z placed on right hand side by 0 now what you will do my suggestion is simply we have a z to the power minus 1 so you can write this z to the power of minus 1 by 1 by z i can write this 4z inverse by 4 by z and 5z to the power minus 2 as a 5 by z square
Now, look at here. If I substitute z equals to 0 in this equation, then don't worry. These two terms will give us a value 0. So, what I will get? The first two terms will give us a value 0. Next, the mid term will have a value 3. But, next one. Anything upon 0 is always infinity. So, 4 by 0 is infinity. 5 by 0 is also gives us infinity. So, the answer is infinity. And 0 plus or you can say 0 plus 3 plus infinity or infinity plus anything. The result is always infinity. Which means at z equals to 0, what we are having? We are getting infinite result. Similarly, we will substitute z equals to infinity. If I replace this all the z by infinity, then this 2z will give us a value as an infinite. Next, we have only 3. But look at here, 4 by z and 5 by z. Anything upon infinity, if this z is replaced by infinity, then anything upon infinity is 0. So, you will get 0. But again, infinity plus anything answer is again infinite so now what you can say basically in previous two videos you are getting infinite result either at z equals to 0 or either at z equals to infinity but now here you are getting infinite result on both the ends then what will be your statement now listen whenever you are getting infinite result at any case then the whole statement you have to write as it is on the last word exceptional case except z equals to 0 and z equals to infinity will be there so what i want to say here you are getting a two infinite result at z equals to 0 and at z equals to infinity so whenever you are getting infinite result at any z equals to 0 just add these two values or add those values at the end so i will tell you what i want to say This is what I want to say. So, that's all for now. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe Ikeda for further more videos. Thank you so much.